So you're streaming to Facebook Live using OBS and you're wanting to learn how to schedule a live event. Well, guess what? This video is for you. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Walt from Live Streaming Tech and today I'm going to show you how to schedule a live event on Facebook using Facebook Live. And this goes without saying whether you're using OBS, Streamlabs OBS or any other type of streaming software or you can even use the browser itself through Facebook to go live using this way. So don't think that, okay, well, he he just said OBS, so that means that excludes me because I'm using Streamlabs OBS or I'm using a browser. Um, that goes without saying, this is pretty much for everyone how to schedule a live event. Now, before I jump into any more jibber jabber, let me go ahead and drop down in the description there, there's timestamps. So if you just want to jump right into to see the steps, then be my guest, but I'm going to throw a little knowledge your way. So try not to tune out real quick here. So there are three reasons why I use these scheduling events on Facebook. And the first one and the main one is it holds me to a schedule. So once I schedule that, I'm basically saying that this is time that I've made available to go live to do this stream for my followers slash viewers. Number two is it notifies your followers viewers even those are there's an option where you can schedule the event and not notify anyone or not publish it here's the thing that kind of uh, defeats the purpose you want to notify you want to send this message out to your followers and viewers and let you know hey or let them know hey i'm going live on this day at this time it's like when you're watching tv and you have a favorite show you know at a certain time and a certain day that's when this show is going to come on or maybe a uh your favorite sports uh game it might be delayed a day or whatever but they're still going to tell you what day and what time that that is event is going to take place it's the same thing for live streaming and that leads me to know Number three, and this is actually kind of my favorite here, and that is you can actually upload a cover is what Facebook calls it, but we all know it's called a thumbnail. We call it a thumbnail over on Twitch. We call it a thumbnail over on YouTube. So here's the thing. We're just going to say thumbnail here on Facebook, but they just call it a cover. And that gives you that clean, polished look. So not only are you going to have what information is going to be conveyed during that live stream, but also you can add an image that relates to that topic or to your branding. That way people recognize and say, oh, cool, wow. And it just gives you that polished look. And of course, you know, Facebook needs all the help it needs uh, when it comes to having a polished look. Because as we know, they're kind of behind the curve when it comes to live streaming. And people have complained about that potato quality. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. I'm going to show you the steps on how to set up this live event. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to log into your Facebook account. Okay, I'm doing this through a browser on my desktop. Um, as you see, I have a shortcut down here for live streaming tech. That's where we're going to be setting up this live event. But for those of you who don't have the shortcuts, we're going to show you the regular way, which is you left click on groups. And then obviously you would have to have permission to stream in these groups. I'm going to go ahead and set one up for live streaming community. Okay, those of you who streamed on Facebook, you know the drill. But if you don't, what you're going to do is you're going to click like you're creating a post. You're going to come down here to where it says add to your post. And over here on the bottom right hand corner, there's three dots. You want to left click on that. Now we're going to go left click on live video. Okay, now we're in. This is where we're at with the goodies. Up in the upper left hand corner, you have go live now, go live with others, and schedule a live video in. Guess what we're going to left click on? We're going to left click on that one. Okay, so we're gonna leave pretty much everything the same. I wanna post this in my group uh, in the live streaming community. So that's who are all gonna be notified. Once again, don't feel that you're are, uh, bottlenecked into this group. It's gonna generate a URL up here. And this is where you're gonna be able to copy it and you're gonna be able to share it on other social media sites uh, such as uh, Twitter or Instagram, so on and so forth, or email lists. So let's go ahead and we're gonna create a, a event name. Let's go ahead and say learn to schedule a live event right why not and we're not going to do it for today's date we're going to put this off till monday uh, because that's when i have time and we're going to go ahead and schedule this uh, not 3 a.m uh, let's look for more like uh 2 45 and let's go for an even time 3 p.m all right now this allows you to put on uh, the next box down is the description box this allows you to give your audience and viewers uh more 411 on what this stream is going to be about if they don't pick it up through the title or maybe you're using some clickbaity type title like uh i melted my hair um you know as the title but then you want to put a little bit more what the stream is going to be about you would put it in here well obviously our title is pretty much the same so we're going to put uh in this 
live stream you will learn how to schedule a live event on Facebook Boom. now we're gonna scroll down we're gonna hit this next this is where it takes me to the favorite part right here. This is where we get to upload a, once again, like I said, with quotation marks, cover photo. We all know that this is a thumbnail. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna use an old one that we've already used before, which was for the Melon, which is actually a pretty cool browsing uh, app that you can use to live stream. We have a video on that. We're gonna go ahead and click open. Now it's gonna give you the opportunity to edit and drag and reposition, but I happen to like all that good stuff. So here is all the information and the URL, the URL will appear when the event is created. So we're not going to create this because I don't want this to post all over because obviously I want everyone to come to YouTube and watch this video. So I get the uh, thumbs up or the thumbs down or at least the shares. And uh, that way they can learn through that way instead of me doing it through a live event. But you would click the create live event and you would be ready to roll. Remember if I talk too fast, or there's something that you didn't quite catch, you can always hit those timestamps in the description below. Go back, hit those parts that maybe you have questions about. If you still have questions about it after watching maybe second, third time through, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. But you really need to check out this video right here where we talk about streaming on Facebook as well. Or you can check out this video right here that YouTube recommends. See you soon.